everybody. So today is the 26th of August and we are in Germany now and it's sadly like I literally cannot believe it our last place on this whole mega road trip which is actually insane to think we've spent 10 weeks on the road um but anyway we're here in Germany and really excited we're in the car it's like afternoon now it's like two we had a really lovely morning like one of my perfect mornings um where we went for a long run in the like forest and stuff it was so gorgeous and then came home had a nice breakfast and had a really really nice swim like there was hardly anyone in the pool um and it was just really nice and then had a good lunch and we're in the car as you can tell um and we're heading out to a really cute village apparently so one of my friends well one of my mum's friends suggested like a couple of things to do around here because she hums all the time and yeah this village is meant to be really pretty and that's kind of the plan to just go and explore there a little bit i think it's about 30 minutes from where we're staying um so yeah i'm really excited let's go all friends come in droves take flight was never on the same court them guys not i before you judge a book try reading it before blasting all of your insta feeding it lying through your teeth so how about you try wiping on so we had a really nice look around that town um, and we were driving back on our way home and we've just stumbled across this museum place that my mum's friend also recommended so we thought we might go in it is like a disused obviously um hitler's training camp which yeah is kind of heavy but important to remember history so i think we're gonna go in and have a look um and i think it's like a 10 minute walk from the car park um but yeah i'm not really sure what to expect but let's do it like a sea coast, yeah. Black and white is fleeting, you should try a little color, yeah. Okay, guys, so we are now back in the car, as you can tell. And honestly, the museum was really interesting. It was quite sobering and highlighted like everything, like the whole war. And yeah, it was kind of just, I don't really know how to describe it, just a bit of a reality show. day trip out we started the day by going on a nice run i went with cubby and he was on the bike while i was running which was really nice um having some one-on-one -on -one time and then came back had a really nice breakfast and we are dressed and ready for the day so today we are going to a city called arken which is about 30 minutes from where we're staying um and yeah i'm really excited oh there's Minnie, and i think we're going to start by doing a walking tour and then my mum has a few other things planned so i'm really excited let's go Okay guys, so it is now a little bit later, it's like 3, 4 o'clock ish and we've just finished the walking tour and oh my god, that was one of the most interesting walking tours we have done like ever because um, you guys know we like to do one in like every city we go to to kind of get a feel for the place um, but yeah, the walking tour guide was amazing, he was this Mexican guy and he was the most interesting guy ever oh Cubby wants to show you, he got a little bag from winning one of these like prize things they were doing on them honestly lovely lovely guy and he kind of gave us a general background of the history of the place and it's really interesting past um because of where it's like positioned in europe with the world wars and everything it had like quite an important role um and yeah and we just kind of saw the main landmarks and all of those things and the city itself is really really pretty 
property um so we are now heading back to the car because the time is nearly up on it and then we're going to go to a few factory shops because they've got a ton of factories here and we're thinking we're going to the lint one and i'm not sure this other one um what it's called but my mom wants to go so i'm really excited let's go so we are literally just coming out of the lint shop and oh my gosh it was really really cool um just to see like an abundance of chocolate like i don't think i've ever seen that much in my life i literally felt like i was in charlie and the chocolate factory which was childhood dream for me um we also went to the biscuit shop i don't know what the brand is called but we went there and we got a few bits as well because that was actually fairly decent and earlier today i forgot to say but we went to this marzipan um one too because i love marzipan and so does my mum like so much and that one was the best one in my opinion that we went to because you kind of just went up to the kiosk and they had a list of things that they were um like selling and you're just like oh hey can i just have this and this and whatever and it was really really good value as well um but yeah honestly really cool they have so many factory shops here and yeah i think the plan is to head home now because it's like 4 30 and it's about 30 45 minute drive from here um so yeah all in all it's been a really really good day and another sunny day as well so that's always good yeah hey guys so it has been a minute it is the 30th of august and today is our last day like of the trip which is just honestly in flipping insane like it literally doesn't feel real but we are making the most of it because you know our true fashion um and today we started the day and we went on a nice run me and cubby did a fast run and then um we came back and swam and had some breakfast which was really nice and we're just heading out now it's about let me check it's like two o'clock ish um and we're in the car as you can tell and we're heading to luxembourg because here as you can tell out the window it's absolutely rainy and horrible um but oh there's Minnie as well and maybe um so it is just chucked it down all morning so we were like let's go somewhere where it's sunny and that's luxembourg and that's about an hour from where we're staying and it's kind of funny really like going back to luxembourg when that's where we started like the whole trip which is kind of cute like it's a full circle moment um yes so we're going to a different part of luxembourg there we're going to like the one that's like the oldest city in luxembourg and it's meant to just be really pretty and have some nice like walks and some pretty like abbeys and that kind of thing so yeah i'm really excited let's go my last name fits you better when I'm with you, there's no pressure I miss your worn out sweaters Weather couldn't compromise our love I spent too much time on us And I think you got me stuck on loving You can function, I Okay, so we are now in the city And we have walked around a little bit And we've gone to the Abbey And my mum went into the tourist information centre To get a map of this, like top things you should see like walking tour route thing um so we're just on that now we've done about halfway of it and it's just so pretty and they've got a really nice river here and it's really cool because a bridge i was asleep when we came in but there's a bridge where half of it you're in germany and half of it you're in luxembourg so yeah that was really cool to see and it's really really pretty and like feels really walkable as well like i definitely will come back here um so yeah we're gonna just finish this off and then i think we're gonna head back into germany and then get a few things from the shops that we um want to take home with us so yeah that's the plan let's do it okay so it is so weird to be saying this but that is it for this vlog and for this whole series on my channel um well for now at least but i had such an amazing summer honestly what a way to close out a crazy time in my life and yeah i'm entering the new era of uni which is exciting but also crazy and yeah i'll see you guys soon <laughs>